Welcome back, everybody, to the Bionic Commando Trilogy, currently on Bionic Commando, the NES version, obviously, as you can see. Uh, last time, we blew, we just kind of blew through the first six areas there, just, just, vroom! Ah, uh, having a good day, but right now, we're going to go to Area 8. Ah, uh, Area 8, where we will need the blue communicator. And this is one of the best tracks of the game! They actually do, oh, wow, hello. That was close. Now, this one is big, it's expansive, lots of room to explore. But I want to get through quickly, because, admittedly, this... You're doing the NES game, it's more for completion purposes, because I think everybody has done the NES game at one point or another. And so it's like, I'm kind of, like, speeding through a bit. And, and with a little... Oh, oh, you mother... Come here. Thank you. Ah, so... It's big, it's expansive. You would think it would be the final area. But it's not. Now, when you're not... When you haven't talked to the communicators or anything... Excuse me. Wow, I apparently have the hiccups today. When you haven't talked to anybody in the communication rooms, this is what's covering the boss door. In this particular area, there are two. And I've got to talk to both of them. Uh, really? What the hell? Fuckers. So anyways, you could talk to these people in any order, it doesn't matter. Area 9 looks like the disposal area. Joe must have been taken there. Please hurry. The disposal area. What makes you think Joe would have been taken there? Uh, maybe from wiretapping I would have figured it out, but you know what? I don't do a lot of wiretapping in this game. As I, exp as I explained in the uh, previous video. Because last thing I need is to be wiretapping, and the next thing I know, be having knives shoved down my throat. You know, I, I mean, have you ever had a knife shoved down your throat? It's painful! Not that I've ever had a knife shoved down my throat, but... You know... I, I, you know, I have a decent imagination. So anyway, here's the other one. You gotta talk to both of them. Communicate? Sure. This could be very useful in areas 7 and 9, the blue one. Okay. And you know what? Just for the kicks. Just because. Otherwise, somebody's going to be like, well, you should do it anyway. Wiretap. This is Super Joe. Can someone hear me? Where am I? Sounds like near the ocean, but I cannot see anything. Okay. The alarms did not go off. Surprisingly. <coughs> Motherfuck. That was... That, that was... That was great. Eh. Bombers. And... Eh. Heh. I really should have used my medicine, but you know what? I'm going to try and save it for the Bosch. Boom! There you go. Uh, getting back up here. This is fun! You gotta walk on this. Not a biggie. Not a big deal. Oh, hey. Ah! I lost the power up. Thank you very much. That pow, that wouldn't have done much for me in this area. It just creates a basic spinny thing that just goes and just kills everything it touches for a limited time. You're still vulnerable though. So you think you could destroy the main system? You have no chance. Yeah. And I, and I know my Super Joe voice was a little inconsistent, most likely from the last video. These guys have shields! That's okay! Because their backs are exposed. 
And I could just take that out anyway. Shields ain't gonna save you from a big explosion. Alright, so what do we have? Iron boots. <laughs> now, I've l since learned what iron boots do. Um, I never f I never really knew what they did before. Um, what they do is they allow you to just kill enemies by swinging into them. You know, with your feet. Okay, another one of these where I can get a couple more continues if necessary. If I want... Oh, hey, you've thrown a grenade. I don't have a grenade. Where's my grenade? See, that's the problem with this game. You don't get grenades. You know, you get a rocket launcher. Yeah, that, that, that kills the shit out of everybody. But sometimes you just want a grenade used for a tactical advantage. Hmm. Area 9. The dump. The landfill. The disposal area. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, these guys. They're not so bad in this one. They are so much more of a pain in, in fucking uh, rearmed. Oh, hey, sweet. One up. Yeah, hi. How you doing? There we go. Now, Joe said it sounds like it's near the ocean. Does this look like it's near the ocean to you? Alright, let's communicate. Get back in touch with base. <clears throat> this is M2. We've captured the enemy. I want to know about the underground path, but I don't know where to start. Could you? Would you please come to Area 7? 7? I don't, I don't think he's at Area 7. He's actually at the area right below this one, which, you know, we'll we'll have a look at when, um... Yeah, this is kind of dangerous. Oh, shit! Fireworks just like spikes, by the way. Yeah, that works. Yay! Sorry for the noise, but hey. Oh, this is my stop. Uh, get out of the way, you fucking campers. Camping AI motherfuckers. Oh, oh hey. Your effort is wasted. We've just transferred Joe to another location. Oh, of course. I thought so. The wiretapping mentioned, you know. My wiretapping found that Joe was somewhere near an ocean. This is no ocean. I mean, I wouldn't put it past these guys to have, like, a disposal area near an ocean. I mean, come on. They're based on the Nazis! And actually, the original Japanese, they are the Nazis. Three-way! This is required! <laughs> Believe it or not, this is actually required. Yeah, I think they mean Area 17 with that one. So let's check it out. And I'll equip the three-way, even though I won't need it until I get to Area 7. But I do want to see... But I do want to do a little bit of a weapon show off later on. So, this is going to be the first one. We were waiting for you. Please come in. Okay, let's do this. Oh, so we've got a little boy now. Ah, uh, you can't do anything to him until you get the fuck over there. What the hell? Okay. Ow. I died in... In a neutral area. What the fuck is wrong with me? That was in a neutral area. Yeah, waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically all I'm doing is getting over there to get some info out of this guy. Oh, we've got the little boy now. Yeah, well, this little boy's gonna come over there and kick your ass, you motherfucker. Ow. Okay, okay, I'll talk. Underground paths run between areas 14 and 17 and 15 and 18. And they will now show up on the map. By the way, three-way. 
pretty much what it says on the tin, really. You can fire indoors, by the way, as you can see, and eh, it doesn't affect anything outside. Now this guy. Hi, how you doing? We've located Joe. He's at POW camp in Area 7. Please hurry. Area 7. Okay. This isn't going to be another one of your wild goose chases, is it? Now, the reason why we, we want to know about these. See, now that they've appeared on the map, you can still take them if they don't appear. But that's okay. Alright. You know what, for this one, I'll show off this cannon. The wide cannon. Again, kind of pretty much what it says on the... Ow! You motherfucker. Yeah, now they got underground guys with bionic arms. Instead of just knocking me away, they damage me. I take damage, they just get knocked away. I, I see how it is. Yeah, the wide cannon has better use overall in the overheads. So let's get to area 7. And fuck! Second one in a row. Alright, no more pussyfooting around. I am the Lord of the Harvest, and I am going to kick your ass. Yeah, I know, that's... Yeah, yeah that, that inflection, your people will be like, Oh, god damn it, he really did. Yes, he did. Uh, there's actually one kind, other kind of overhead area. I don't know if we'll see it in this run, but hey, you know, we'll find out. Oh, fuck me. Two in a row?! Jeebus! This game does not want me to reach Area 7, do they? Jeebus! Okay. I'm, well, hey, you know what? You're giving me more continues, so, you know, that's fine. There we go. Me, 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 me. Sorry for my silence, it's just like, come on, I want to get through this. Come on. There we go. Finally! Although, you know what? He did say by the ocean. So, and, and, and it looks like by the use of this map, I was wrong. And that Area 9 is by the ocean. Oops, almost forgot it, something. Now, here's going to be a fun thing I'm going to show, hopefully show. Now, the reason you need the three-way is to open that. Now. Nope. Wrong thing. BA and start puts you back on the map screen. And you can switch out your weapons if need be. Helmet, by the way, will reflect three shots per life. And the barrier is gone. So if you don't want to use the three-way, you'd rather use the rocket launcher. You just come in here, use the three-way, open up the path, and there you go. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm just gonna beat the shit out of all of you. Now, where we need to go is up to the left, but... Oh, hi! 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 Motherfucker! You know what, I was gonna let you live, but... I am so used to playing rearmed, I'm, I'm expecting a... Oh, hey. You know, it's like I'm a... Mm, go away. Okay. Timing is everything. Oh, it's not as bad as Area 6, but holy shit. Oh, dear. So, you finally come. Jo is here, but you're going to die here! And, and the reason why I chose that accent for this boss, you'll see in the remake. Hmm. Yeah, he's gone. And there you go. Alright, so my face is going away for a bit. Mr. Joe, I've come to rescue you. Thank you. I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Ca
Captain, something terrible is going to happen. Remember there was a plan in the bad secret documents about building a huge laser cannon? The Empire is trying to accomplish what the bats couldn't do. However, they cannot complete this project because the person with the key knowledge is dead. His name is... Master D. To finish the project, Kilt is trying to resurrect him, but has been unable to do so. Captain, we must stop him before this project gets too big. I'm going to Area 12 now. Can you fight with me? Of course. I have given a special machine gun to a man called Destroyer 3 in Area 18. You should use that gun. Yep. There we go. So, now we have our final mission. We have to get to Area 12. We have to stop Kilt from reviving Master D. And... And what is this? A huge fucking laser cannon. So, you know, you know, a giant laser to take over the world with. Yeah, this is the 80s. And Destroyer 3, he says. So Destroyer 3, I believe, is this guy. You gotta talk to him. I am Destroyer 3. Do you have any need for a machine gun? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, someone just asked me to tell you that whoever is in town. Located between those mountains. Do you know what that means? I don't even think I know what that means. That's okay. Whoa! But for completion's sake, we grab the machine gun. I don't know why that particular sound plays. It still picks up and it still works. But, oh well. Alright, we transfer, we go... Aw, oh, shit. So the machine gun... Yeah, we'll we'll give it a we'll give it a go in this one. You get spray fire. Oh, of course, turbo button makes it a lot more fun. Thing is, it doesn't have automatic firing features like a machine gun. You'd think a video game machine gun would have that inherently. I just had to turn on the turbo button for it. That's okay. Now, the final three areas. You have to beat areas 10 and 11 before you can get into area 12. So... No! I wanted to descend, I'm sorry. Yeah, rocket launcher is your best bet. Now, this is where the orange communicator will come in. You know, I'm so used to the physics in uh, rearmed that... I try and do that, and it doesn't work, and I'm like, no! Oh, that was close. I actually did it. Holy shit. Oof. Ah, yeah, there we go. All right. So, this area, I, I, I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be. What kind of factory this is. Get off me, you fucking slimes! Uh. No. Let me over. Still gotta use the communication room. Naturally. Mm. This is M8. We've built a newly developed bazooka. Please obtain it from a man named Hal. Hal Jordan? I don't know. But here we go. And we get platforming, swinging... Oh, that thing barely was on screen. What the fuck? Okay, let's... Here, here's open. We're swinging the right way. And... Boom! No! Death. God damn it. What a fucking... Fucking moving platforms. Okay. We gotta wait. We gotta be patient. Oh, fuck! This is so wrong! You know, there's something I'm wondering. Oh, there is! Oh, shit! Ah, fuck! I hope that wasn't my last life. Okay, then! No, 
I think this is one of those games where the Let's Play curse is actually... Ow! Where it's actually falling, befalling me a little bit. There we go. Oh, shit. No! I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. There we go. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. There we go. You know, that's that's something you don't use very often, the the whole whole crouch and, and arm thing. You don't use that very often in this game. Weird. Okay. Communicate, yada 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 yada. We can actually just skip out of this. If you're doing a speedrun, you can just hit the communicate, and you can skip out of it whenever you can, whenever you want. Okay, so this will make it a little bit more manageable. Fuck! Really? You little shit! Okay. Come on back, dude. No! Fuck! I think this is the last life. Um... No! Mm. I'm doing horrible in this area, aren't I? Yeah, just, just slightly. Eight continues. Holy shit, man. I got a lot of them. Okay, anything that I can do to make it better? No, no. It's just the same equipment. May as well. Hey! Lasers, something you don't see. I think this is like one of like maybe two areas you see this. Ah, there we go. Swing around like a monkey and, and Tarzan and all that good shit. Whew. I don't know why I'm having such a problem with this la this this particular leg of the area, though. Uh, maybe it is the Let's Play curse. I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, you know, and normally a lot of Let's Players will go, like, oh, "Let's cut that out." No, because I'm hoping at least you guys will enjoy my reaction to it. I hope. If not, then, uh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we know, we know. Alright, let's get back to the fail, shall we? No! Ah, fuck! And I already used the... And I went ahead and used the thing. Got me a little further, but... It's never enough, man. There we go. Blind leap of faith, my fucking... Yeah. And surprisingly, you are in you are in liquid. Some kind of lava y wick liquidy thing and you are not affected by shit. Okay. Ah I don't know. Oh pull 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 I found an intruder. We're going to attack. Okay, whatever, fine. Boom. Shut the fuck up. I'm done with you. I am done with you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Area 10. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. What are you gonna give me? You, you better give me something good. You give me a fucking one-up. Yeah, fuck you. I want you to give me like two continues and three lives. Come on. Motherfucking piece of shit. Yeah. Alright, Area 11. Ah, oh, of course we hit an enemy. Because of course we do. Uh, tempted to... Oof. Thus, getting as close to the end as we are, I think I'm going to be able to get to these next two areas relatively okay. Area 10, as you've noticed, is apparently a weak spot of mine. Mm. Area 11, not so much. Okay. Area 11 is... Okay. Okay, you gotta keep going up here. This is... Again, th there's plenty of places for you to swing around. Ow! Motherfuck. 
kick your ass. Ha! <laughs> Would have been funny if that had been, like, if that had been picked up and, like, got another life, you know, health bar or whatever. That would have been awesome. But, oh well. Hey, how you doing? Oh. Communicate. Sure, why not? Hmm. I am Hal. I am in front of Area 12 now. I cannot enter unless you blow up Areas 10 and 11, so please do it fast. Bazooka? Yes, I have it. Don't worry about anything. Let me handle the rest. Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about Hal. Alright. More swinging goodness. Yep. Hope your swinging skills are, are top-notch. Whoop, there we go. Yes! Wow, I actually breathed through that. Sometimes I have a little bit of difficulty with it. It's too early to feel safe. I'll kill you here. No, you won't. You're going to sit there doing the thing. I'm going to kill your lasers. And what are you going to do? Oh, hey, there's another one. Boom. Okay, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, you just die. And unless this thing is actually going to shoot... It is. Well, it was. <laughs> well, then. Just shut me up. Hmm. Bulletproof vest. Yes. That thing reflects five bullets. I think it's per life. So now, let's see. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to run a little over today. Because this is going to finish it. We're going to finish it today. Bionic Commando. Area 12. Lad Spencer. Generalissimo Kilt. Two will enter, one will leave. Who will win? This is Super Joe. This area is divided by two barriers. In order to break the barriers, you should break the power system. Find the power system. Ah, oh, I kind of figured that out, Joe. Yeah. I've got to work on my Super Joe voice. Oh, electrified floors. Hooray. Aren't, isn't this just delightful? Yeah. Oh, here we go. And this is what you get. Yay. Uh... You go in there, you destroy those. And, oh! Hi! How you doing? Now, for this particular one, there, there are two rooms like this. With the electrified floors and everything. Uh, electrified? Electrified floors. One of them, you could just go to the bottom. You get a shortcut to, you know, the next area. I say shortcut, but, you know. It allows you to get to the next area a little easier. Hi! And boom. Boom. <laughs> and of course, second communication room. Okay. Communicate. This is Joe. I'm going to destroy the power source of the base. Defeat the leader and get out. Oh, good. So you leave me with the easy task. Ah, oh, fuck you, you glory hogging asshole. Ugh, I wanted to blow up the power core. Oh, this one adds this guy. And by the way, this one, you have to come all the way back up here to the to this top door. And the first door... Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. This is... Oh, shit, 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 son. Ow. Yeah, you, you most likely are going to take damage there. Ow. What the fuck? Oof. Okay, you have to come down to the bottom because that one up there is a trap. And they try and oh look at that, isn't that cute? They try and they try and they try and funnel in soldiers. That's so adorable. Now, the fun part, we climb. Get out of my way. Okay. 
That's so adorable, they tried to send soldiers out. That was so adorable, wasn't it, folks? Uh, oh, hello. Hi. How you doing? Still nowhere near enough for another life pellet. Oh, well. This! I am not a big fan of this. Ah! That's why! Uh, just a quick check. How many lives? Okay, I've still got enough. Oh, wow! I'm like 24 away from another, another unit of life. Make that 22. Okay. Alright. And go. And go. And go. And go. Oh, fuck! Oh, motherfuck. Really? I'm gonna die. I'm going to drop and I'm going to die. Watch. Told you. Right there at the fucking door. Yeah. Motherfuck. And if I get a game over, I will cut ahead back to this, by the way. Because I'm not going to make you guys go through all of that again. Area 10 was one thing, because it's short. This is not short. Uh, yes! Oh! oh, looks like something important is going to happen, so... Um, whoop! <clears throat> oh, the kid who was here before. Never thought I'd see you here, but you're too late. The Albatross has begun to move. Not necessary to wait for Master D to revive. I've just cut off the switch. For the revival device, Master D will never rise again. Now it's your turn to die. Uh, what? Ah! Master D is apparently Palpatine. He rises. Looks a little familiar. Holy shit, that's Hitler! That's not Master D, that's fucking Hitler! You woke me from a long sleep! Now I have no more use for you! I'll take over your army and rule the world! What? You're going to fight against me? You damn fool! If that's what you want, I'll show you the horror of the Albatross! This is the Albatross, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, by the way, real quick. Whoop! There we go. Alright, the Albatross. You gotta get up there. That's the power source glowing up there. And we get up there. Oh! Ba -ba 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 oh! You know it's durable because it takes more than more than two or three rockets to actually kill. <laughs> okay, durability. Thy name is Albatross. Kinda looks like it, too. Uh... Ah, fuck. Missed. Yeah, it's not too it's not too hard for a final confrontation. This is technically the final boss. Technically. You'll see why after I beat this thing. Mm, come on. Timing, timing. Let's go. Yes! Gotcha! <laughs> I don't know why, I just love flipping birds like that. Kinda. All right, but Master D might be getting away. Holy shit, let's go. I'm Hal. Master D is leaving. I won't last long. I take this bazooka. Go get him. There is a chopper down here. Aim at the cockpit as you jump. You can do it. I can't jump. How am I supposed to do that? What it means is you're supposed to do it as you fall. Now, whatever weapon you have, It'll automatically be upgraded to well, what's supposed to be the bazooka. It's really the rocket launcher, so it does. It really doesn't matter. And you gotta fall and and I missed. Motherfucker! Really? Okay. 
I will cut back. Okay, so um, we're back here, and wasn't that long, because I forgot that you continue right from here. Okay then, that works. That 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 that's a thing. Yeah, we know you 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 got capped in the ass by Master D. No, by Hitler. Okay, so at least I don't have to worry about going back all the way through Area 12 again. Gotcha. It's a really really bulky chopper. Your number's up, monster! Ah! And you had to explode! This is what you call getting hitler Alright, let's go. This base will explode in 60 seconds. Evacuate right away! I think you mean explode. I know what I meant, asshole! So, yeah, you're gonna have one boss try and fight you along the way out. He's gonna try and kill me. I'll kill you here. Yeah, but I could just... Yeah, let's go on by him. And there we go. And that is it! I realize this runs a little long. Um, compared to the last episode, is Joe still inside? What happened to the captain? We cannot wait any longer! We are going to escape now! Please wait just a little longer! Hey, what's that? It sounds like something attached to the... to, to our... to our chopper. BOOM, BABY! This is Lad, our mission accomplished. Super Joe is safe. We are returning now. There we go. Ah. Battle has ended and we have a new hero now. I was feeling different as I received the blessings from comrades. Alright, so we have the staff roll. We got one... There's one other thing I can read at the end. But, yeah, so that was Bionic Commando, the first of the Bionic Commando trilogy. Two episodes. Admittedly, this runs a little long, because I'm looking at the timer. It's about 40 minutes. Oops. <laughs> but, you know... Getting it done in two, that's, that's not too bad. Um, but narratively, it makes a little bit more sense uh, simply because, well, you know, you get the first half, then you get the second half. You know, it's fine. Uh, but uh, I enjoy it. I still enjoy playing this game. It's a lot of fun. If you have a chance, go pick it up. Go check it out. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so the next up is going to be the remake by Anna Commando Rearmed, which you can get on Steam right now if you want to try it out for yourself. So, um, yeah. Oh, wait. Whoop. Now, so much time has elapsed. I am old now. I think it's time for me to tell you the whole story. I hope this story will be told for a long time. 82-2010. So, there we go. That is Bionic Commando. So next time you see me undoing this, um, I'll be doing Bionic Commando Rearmed. <laughs> uh, again, apologies for the longer video on this one because, well, narratively it just kind of fit and I had really bad luck, as you saw. So, again, thanks for putting up with being patient with me. Thanks for putting up with it. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I will see you next time for Bionic Commando Rearmed. And until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. Whoa, 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 whoa.